Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing SVS's brand new 3000 micro subwoofer. This tiny little 10 inch box with two opposing firing 8 inch drive units offers a prestigious amount of bass for both music and movies in a stunningly compact box. The engineering in this product is second to none and using those two drivers the ability to grip frequencies well beyond most subwoofers that are much bigger, let alone one of such a compact size. It uses an 800 watt sledge amplifier that peaks at over 2,500 watts and it's so easy as far as being able to deliver control and depth into a room like nothing else in its price. So, let's have a look. Firstly, the packaging. SVS's packaging is pretty muted. Apart from uh, model information on the top, we've got a basic thing about how to open it up. More information, little line drawing associated with the product, and then model and serial number information in a scannable code, and a hint to its colour, which today is going to be gloss white. Opening these is very, very straightforward. The recommendation is that you always um, lift the product, or lift the box out of the product rather than the product out of the box. So, drilling in, we see some basic information. Now, the first is a quick setup guide and a few other things as far as SVS and some plugs and sockets and how to plug things in. It's implied straight away that you should be utilising uh, SVS's free Bluetooth app to help set it up. Uh, the app can be discarded after you've finished, you don't need it on a regular basis. But it means that you can set up the parameters of the subwoofer from the comfort of your living room chair, rather than having to get up and down and kind of sort of battle with the setup, uh, trying to listen, get back up and adjust, sit back down and listen and so on. So it's wonderful that they've included that now in so many of their Pro and the 3000 subwoofers. There is an IEC power cord 3-pin. And at this point, the simplest way is to take the box off the product. You'll see the elaborate uh, closed cell phone packaging that they have. Now, although the subwoofer is not particularly large, it's quite heavy for its size. With over 10 kilos in weight, it's quite a mighty little sub. It's protected inside a plastic bag, and off to one side in that bag is a big blob of desiccant. With the painted surface, it's then protected with a cloth to ensure that the uh, gloss finish remains immaculate in transit. Um, on the bottom of it, as we pause to have a look, is the logo associated with the Bluetooth setup and some basic cautions. I would be surprised if the amplification doesn't actually use this bottom part as heat sinking. There's also four rubber feet, which are very stiff and firm, uh, enabling it to go on hard surfaces if required, or settle into a carpet. Rolling it over is very straightforward at this point. And then taking the lid, the bag, and the polished cloth off the subwoofer. Looking at it, you would, you know, looking at it, it's designed to be looking very compact and muted and bears no, um, uh, it gives you no illusion to its performance. It looks small, yet is so mighty. A simple SVS logo is the only thing across the front, and the two drive units either side. Looking at it, you'll see that they've utilised curves in the cabinetry. Now this is not just for a little bit of style, but also curving in cabinets, particularly in MDF well braced, will mean that it can uh, work with some of the properties associated with the cabinet to ensure it's extremely stiff and is not going to vibrate. It's at the back that things get a little bit more interesting, although because the app now controls the vast array of setup, it's a little bit more muted as far as the dials you would expect to see on most subs. There is an SVS logo with a sledge amplification logo beneath. There is a series of buttons allowing for up and down and the opportunity to change the uh, configuration you need to control. 
the plus and minus changes any number of things associated with volume and then phase and then low pass and so on. Um, beneath the buttons are the inputs and outputs, one clearly labelled LFE and should you be powering this from a, a serio preamp there's a second set there too. There's also an output enabling you to pass this through perhaps a tape loop or a theatre bypass or something along those lines and let the crossover network deal with the uh, lower frequencies and pass the higher ones through to the amplification. There's also a USB at the rear. Uh, this is for power and most likely for a, um, a USB based wireless receiver if required. There is a model and serial number information, again scannable. Uh, beside the inputs we've got a trigger. This is a 3 to 12 volt trigger ensuring that this can be locked on or off at, uh, at the time of the powering on of a home theatre amplifier and stop any potential issues with it automatically going into a power save mode just before a big prestigious scene. There's of course a 3 pin IEC power socket and a good quality rocker switch. So there we have it. SVS's brand new small but mighty subwoofer, the 3000 Ultra, sorry 3000 Micro, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.